live. All right. How's it going, guys? It's it's going. We're about to die, though. Yeah, we, we are about to die. So it's just going. <laughs> what makes you think you're going to die? Well, <laughs> we're missing <laughs> a couple people. <laughs> Couple people. Very big, very big damage dealers. Yeah. In the party right now. Uh, we're missing our sorcerer and somebody who voluntarily left. <laughs> oh, I did not voluntarily leave. Well, <laughs> I don't know about that. I was captured against my will. Okay, so, uh. For a hero point, what's going on? Um, we cleared the small section of the dungeon that was above us because of the the undead boy who eats other undead. He's like kill, kill, kill. Mm -hmm. So we followed his instruction, and that's where we started last week. Um, and. Uh, we found some treasure up there. It was nice. Almost died, I'm pretty sure. Um, but it it seemed overall all right. There was the one the one demon thing that kind of got away. Uh, that might be bad. I don't think we ever caught up to him. He he took something from under the mattress or inside the mattress, mm -hmm. and he dipped. So that's that's a problem for the party in the future. Um, but we ran into an old friend of the old party. Good old <laughs> New friend. friend. <laughs> yeah, Boreana, of course, what yeah. she goes by. Yeah, she goes by Boreana uh, now. <laughs> hey, it's a stronger name. <laughs> she doesn't let people just walk through her. Yeah, true, true. Uh, the so Doriana turns out to be here. Um... And she's clearly lost her mind a little bit. Uh, it's been found out now that she's married uh, to the old blacksmith of the town. Carmen Rajani. Yeah, Carmen Rajani. Um, he seems actually quite sane and, and uh, uh, nice now com compared to what he used to be. Yeah, more, uh, more than before. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that's good that they kind of change roles there, it seems. Um, that's what marriage does, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so we've, we, we interacted with them, and, uh, during said interaction, we, our fish decided to keep talking, uh, then after getting hit, talked more, and uh, talking. and then hit as well. I was trying uh, to help her, but she's so sensitive. The fish is now in prison because of that. Uh, but the rest of the party managed to uh, not not do that, um, surprisingly. Uh, so we didn't die. Um, and now we have a mission where we have eight hours to... Um, I actually don't remember exactly what it was. But we have eight hours to, to like clear the dungeon or something. Like, clear the floor, floor. yeah. I don't no know if library. we're supposed to receive something as well. Yep, so, uh... Carmen requested, you know, uh, Boreana's taking a nap. Uh, she's... She went a little psychotic there and she freaked out. Um, she needs, she needs to rest. And Carmen said, Hey, we're trying to do something here. We're trying to go down and stop the evil that's coming. Uh... But we're stuck here in the corner of this floor. We haven't been able to get any further. Can you help us expand this... Floor. We can get safe passage for anyone basically down to here. If you get us, um, if you can clear out this floor, this will be a good base of operations and we can bring more troops in and we can maybe, uh, stop this thing. Yeah, that's what it was. Oh, well, yeah. Also, as a recap, I, I don't know, wait, I think we, I don't know if we mentioned it yet, but there's the big, huge demon that the little guy wanted us to kill, the little demon guy. Um, but we just shut the door and said, you know, you're okay. Oh, we don't yeah, know I mean, if it was him, though, do we? I don't that think is we true. That is he true. wanted us to get his contract from her. Uh, did he say that this time? He said that to the last party. Yeah, he did. I yeah. talked to him. Yeah, so... Uh, you know who she is? 
the, um, from Boriana. It seems like it's Boriana. Doriana. Yeah. Boriana, Doriana. But I guess we don't conclusively know that. She just seems like she's in charge of everything at the moment. He said it's the woman at the end of the hall, so I, I assume that means her. Assuming that it's... She's the only one. Yeah. <laughs> there was also the door with the light that was like right here that we just kind of ignored because it seemed kind of scary. That could potentially be something. I would probably describe that as down the hall on the left. I think that's actually the right. Yeah, it's or, on the, or the right. right. Yeah. Get was that room? You're talking about uh, this room, right? Yeah, there's like a big orb that was like kind of scary looking, so I just closed the door and didn't say anything. Yeah, <laughs> just walked away. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, Vera, junk shot, Oganark, uh, and uh, Charlie Main said, "All right, well." We're not going to be able to get uh, a Fluria right now. She is off somewhere else. We got to go clear out this floor because Carmen gave us exactly eight hours to clear out this floor. Why is there a time limit? Who knows? But uh, he likes those. Um, <laughs> you got to start running up uh, to go clear out the floor because you don't have much time. Uh, when, as Charlie passes... Um, this door here into uh, this little reading room. Something draws him away, and he says, uh, "Hold on, guys. I think I think there's something in here that can help us. I feel the magic." And, and he just steps in. And uh, all right, what uh, Malik? I'll get to you in a second. But uh, first, junk shot and Vera. What is going on? What do um, do? I think are we are we raring to go? I I think Bear would probably you know he's like eight hours right. Um, that's not a lot of time. We don't have much time to just sit around. Yeah, we we, we don't. Shall we start going? I don't know uh, what Charlie means doing, but uh, surely he'll catch up. He just might need to recharge a little. Yeah. <laughs> He needs to put some more fire on his face or something. Um. Yeah. Okay. We can start going. Hold on. What's up? In my bathroom. <laughs> Got some good bracky. Bathroom, yeah. Give us a bracky. Okay. Uh, so. Uh, you guys are gonna go do your thing. I I yeah. think so. Try? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. We have to we have to do something. Um, let me double check before I go that all my um. Yeah. Mm, I have a decent amount of mutagen still. All right, it you should be okay. Uh, you two plan out your uh plan your track. I'm gonna go over to. Efloria. Okay. Hi. So you are invisible on the stream. Why? Uh, figure ownership. The camera can't see you. Why is that? <laughs> I can do whatever I want. <laughs> and no one can stop me. <laughs> Alright, I want to refresh And there'll that. be no evidence. Aside from the locked door, which you can't escape. <laughs> that might stop you. <laughs> oh, I I'm not behind the door. Don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's in the closet. The player is... He's no doors and no boars, for sure. Um, I don't know why. I guess the camera hasn't been looking at you this entire time. 
that uh, the camera didn't have permission to see you. You just happened to be with everyone else. I am a ghost. <laughs> um, make sure... Camera's almost back. Yes, we can see you. Uh, My invisibility potion wore off. Yeah. So, Afluria, you wake up, and... You only wake up because you feel this damp dampness water droplets falling on your face and you feel you feel completely drained you feel weak you feel wounded um but you wake up just barely breathing you can see uh below your feet there's uh there's ropes that were uh, binding around your ankles and your wrists and now frayed and, and torn apart below you. If you look to your right, you'll see a tunnel. Uh, a tunnel that extends down for quite some time. And you can just hear the echoes of more water droplets falling from the, the roof of this tunnel, the ceiling of this tunnel. You can tell it goes down uh, quite a ways. Um, and then to the left, uh, you see the tunnel extend, um, and you hear just the splashing of water down, uh, like, almost like a lake or a pond or something. You, f you hear the splashing of waves against stone. To the bottom left or the right? To your character's left, to the east of this, east on the screen. Okay. Um, well, first things first. I stand up. And then... I fail to treat my wounds. <laughs> um, so I'm effed. I'm just super duper effed. I do hope that's plenty. Are those icons all fucked up for you guys too, or...? Yeah, you probably need to refresh. Okay, let me do that really quick, I guess. Because there, um, there was an update. And it messes up the icons every time. Uh, so... You spent some time to heal yourself, try to wrap up your wounds, but it's, it's pretty bad. Um... Looking around, you don't see, uh, where you came from. You don't see any footsteps or anything like that. Uh, what is Aflaria thinking? What what does she do? She's gonna go toward the water, and she's thinking she needs to just um hydrate for a little bit. Water's the other way. Oh, that would explain why that way's a dead end. Yeah. She kind of stops here. Is a little tired. Takes 10 minutes to catch her breath. You know, she's not very good at walking on land. Oh, she can hear the water. Fighting. She's so close. Fighting. Yeah, yeah. She just really needs to take a breather for 10 minutes. I think she really thinks, like, if she were able to just get to that water, that's probably right around the corner. She would feel a lot better. And uh, no, no, it's been 10 minutes. And, uh, you know, she's feeling a little bit better now that it's been 10 minutes. And so uh, she's going to get around the corner. No, 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 no. <laughs> God! Well, why? She, she sees water no, right in front of her. No, but I know. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way you're going to make me solo this at half health and no, and my treat wounds failed and I'm wounded. Okay, it's wait, wait, It's not wait, my wait. fault you failed to treat your wounds. Uh, seeing the opening of the room um, and the water, I... I listen carefully to make sure the coast is clear before I step out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. You see water around the corner, and, you know, as as I catch you, you know, where there's water, there is life. Um, you hear this dripping, sloshing sound of water. Is that what this, you call it? Yeah. Filling this large cavern chamber. <laughs> you feel the rush of uh, cold air. You know, this damp cold air, you know, um, there's a sizable pond over there. 
Um, you listen close and all you hear is that sloshing water against the stone. You can hear that the water is being fed from somewhere. Now as you look closer, you see the water extends from the north. It's being fed by something over there, but it dips down here into this pool. Um, yeah. Maybe Boreana killed the monster. Maybe. There's a, a lazy rivulet of overflow trickling uh, from the north down to this sloping tunnel. Um, and you, you see this pool with the stone uh, in the center of it. And uh, you look up and there's with a, about a five foot diameter, uh, there's an opening gaping in the ceiling above the center of this pool. Oh, I wonder if that's the well or something. <laughs> um, I don't think that because I don't know if I saw the well. I don't think this character did. <clears throat> um, I can go in the water to hydrate. Okay, you're going to do your hydration? Yeah, it's 10 minutes, right? Mm-hmm. All right. God damn it. Roll better. You know, I lay in the water for 10 minutes. I feel refreshed. Yeah, uh, while you're doing that, give me a perception check. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay. Um, you guys are not here, but I'm going to give you some vision. You can't see, okay. correct? Actually, correct. I'll just well. let you guys be observers of him. Actually, it would probably be better. Health. Your observers. All right. Can you see now? Um. In this room. Oh. Yeah, I'm just still where I am right now. Oh, I think you need to refresh. For the permissions. Yeah. Okay, I will refresh. You can refresh. Um. And you should be able to see, the Floria in this pool now. Uh. That perception check, you know, you're just really relaxed enjoying this water. Um, it's been a while, uh, a couple, it's been about a day, right? Yeah, roughly. Yeah, so you really needed this. You're, you're starting to get kind of tired, kind of fatigued. Um, so it's, thank God there's a pool here in this dungeon. Um, so. You're just laying down, enjoying this moment, enjoying this pool of water. Uh, can you guys see? No. No. Loading. Library. Nope. Alright. Twitch can see, though. Twitch can see, that's for sure. Uh, now you can see. Wait, can you still see? Even though I make you I invisible? See. Yeah. I can see. Okay. I can see this whole room here. Alright. I think I'm the only one who's seen this room before. That's correct. Even in the, even in the last campaign. <laughs> That's correct. <laughs> oh, shoot, yeah. Yeah, so you're just really enjoying this water, relaxing, and you forget a moment for a moment that you're down in a deep, dark uh, dungeon of a uh, gone-like keep. And you probably realize just a little too late when you feel a very large splash of water come up uh, on your feet, splashing across your your uh, uh, bare chest. What? And you, you hear? <laughs> you hear a snarl. <laughs> and I need you to roll for initiative. Uh oh, that looks pretty friendly, actually. Yeah, no, I think you could pet it. What are the odds the door is locked? 50-50? Either it is or it isn't. Yeah. What do you do?
How do, um, what does it mean to move past it? Can I swim around it? Like, I'm not sure what you're asking. You can try. You can tumble. Like, what would it? Uh, You'd would have it to be tumble, a tumble through. even yeah. in water? Um, you have a swim speed, right? Uh, yeah. I, I think so, but I don't know. You're the rules lawyer. Like, well, I mean, how deep is the water? Like, can I go underneath it or like? Uh, it's not very deep. It's only like five feet deep. You probably could. It takes up a lot of space. Like, you can swim in this water, but... I'm tumbling through. Okay. You do tumble through. Um, does this go somewhere? Uh... It, it looks like it goes somewhere. I go through it. Okay. I'm gonna go from where it came from. Well, I don't trust here, because... <laughs> I mean, I don't exactly know where I am, but I, it seems like that leads back to the people who get captured me, so I'm not gonna go that way. Or more of them. Okay. So you swim past this crocodile. As you swim past it, it just goes, it snaps its head left and right at you. Uh, but it does not catch you. You can, you can feel its hot breath as you swim by. And you just hear it start to turn and walk after you. Um, but... Uh, so that was your turn three actions, right? No, that's two actions. Oh. Yeah. 30, 30 and then 30. 60 oh yeah, because you're swimming. It was... Yeah. Yeah. It's the, I forgot, the marker was... All right. So you keep going down then? Yeah, I just can't go past where I'm at, so... Yeah, okay. Well... I'll tell you... This looks, a, this looks like an awfully lot like the place where my last character died, and I'm worried that this goes down a floor. <laughs> uh, yeah, as you swim past, uh, it's kind of like a slide. You start swimming uh, downwards, downstream. Uh, down it. deep into this tunnel. And uh, we will end combat there because you are much faster than this crocodile. And we will see you later, I guess. Oh, God damn it. <laughs>
Ying needs a feast. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'll be in my reading room. Happy reading. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, hold on. Oh. We should go door by door. Let's start here. Uh oh. <laughs> ah, where are you? Oh, uh, hello. Uh, what a, what a janitor service here, just cleaning up. Cleaning. Well, yeah, come back later. I'm, I'm in the middle of something. Okay, sorry to bother you. We're not gonna go in there. <laughs> well, I can't. Well, I, I just walked up behind Junkrat and be like, "Oh, no, you're Junkshot. Junk, like, oh, Junkshot, what is that?" Um, what's in there? Just some lady. Looks like I couldn't shoot her, so I'm not really interested. Okay. Only, only like a woman I could shoot. <laughs> <laughs> um, Joffrey over here. I believe. Hmm. Uh. There's a hallway here we can clear as well. We've got so, several paths. Corporal creatures. Uh yeah. just by default. Yeah. Are immune to disease, poison, and precision damage. They can still take physical damage. They just have resistance to all damage. Some ghosts or spirits, whatever, are immune to like all physical damage. But by default, they just have resistance to all damage. Oh. Well. So you can shoot her. She just won't care. I haven't had much luck with shooting things that are see-through. You can shoot her. It just oh. might take a lot of bullets. I don't use uh, bullets. Cutlery. A lot of yeah. knives. <laughs> uh, we'll pass for now. I don't. She didn't seem hostile, so I don't think there's any reason to go after her yet. Okay. Wait. Uh, did we clear out the top section? Or the section no. over there? I, we can go through this hallway. We can go through the reading room door. Or we can go up through the top. There's several paths up there, it looks like. Uh, you started going this way. Is this where you want to go? Uh, it's nearby. Figured Might it would be good. Well. I agree. We can careless do it. One door at a time. Everyone be ready. The coast is clear. And barrels. Ah, uh, barrels. Huh. More doors, <laughs> as they say. You open up this door. Um, you see, this room looks like uh, kind of once served as like a writing studio or something, but its condition has been all but obliterated by dozens of tiny swatches of skinned flesh marked with tattoos. Judging by the workspace on the table in the middle of the room, these tattoos have been placed post-mortem with a swath of pale skin stretched over the desk, sporting a half-completed image of a sinister woman. Ugh. Does she look like Doriana? Or does she look different than Doriana? She looks different. Oh. Interesting. Well, maybe Doriana this seems is like a path to evil. I'm right behind you. I'm ready to fight. Where'd ready Charlie to... go? Uh, okay, I don't know. Pause, so I couldn't move. <laughs> oh. Bless you. Open! Ah! Nasty. Oh. I watch where you step in here. Yeah. The desk in this office has been repurposed into a messy butcher's block. There's just guts and limbs chopped up all over the place. There's a, uh, you do find a shiny silver hatchet wedged into the top of the desk. Bits of decaying pale flesh are strewn across the table and the floor.
Uh, icky. The shiny, is it made of silver or is it just the color silver? It's made of silver. Ooh. Ah. That might be useful. Here, some things are weak to silver. Um, what is my inventory? I don't know if, uh... I'm not skilled with weapons like that, really, but if anyone uses melee, they might be interested. Mm. I'm a the, sorcerer. In Fireworks. The one oh. silver hatchet. <laughs> Charlie may cast okay. fireball in this room. <laughs> cast explosion. Uh, anyone? I, know, I, I cast that one spell that makes it so you have to like roll breathing check. Ashclad? Yeah, I throw for Ashclad in this room. <laughs> <laughs> we all die. Uh, this seems familiar. Right, You're not it. immune I'll, to it. I'll take. You don't I'll got take no it. fire mm -hmm. along. Nice. Take. I take. All right. Let's get ready. I need to, I need to add Something to might be behind this door. Ah! More bodies. You open this room. Uh, you see heaps of slowly decaying bodies hung and stacked here, revealing the bedroom's current use as a meat locker. I don't oh. like it in here. I... Oh boy. Let's stay away from this area. Maybe, maybe over here will be different. Okay. You don't. You don't look any closer. Uh, I'm not I... interested. It's gross in there. It's too gross. As doctor. Even for Vera, goblin standards. Vera is not phased. Okay. But she inspects for any uh magical um or actually she'll probably uh, just just look around see if um use my medicine skills actually no i'll i'll roll what you want me to roll but i want to take a look around to see like what might be the purpose of what they're doing here like if it's just like a experiment just to look at stuff or like look right, at, give, give me medicine medicine okay where skills medicin medicin medicine uh 22 22 you, you look around and you see these uh these corpses in the flesh here um uh, the, the the decaying flesh uh and you realize that this room is quite dangerous these bodies here are the bodies of um uh, morlocks uh, that she saw on the upper floor, and uh, that or, or Grail is a is a undead Morlock. You look here, and you realize these corpses are infected with blue blisters. It's a flesh-eating disease, causing blue blisters Ew. on your skin, and you realize immediately you should not stand in this room. Or move. <laughs> you get out before uh, being infected. Good. Uh Okay. Uh Vera closes, comes out and tells Junkshot and Charlie, hey, uh, that's bad disease on those bodies. Uh don't open the door yet. Huh. And we uh, gotta find the person who's causing it. Yes, we do. Boom. What? This place in their hallways. Shall we? <laughs> I think we need to. In relation to where we were previously, we could be ending up behind the reading room. Would be I will sheath my knife before we go in and draw my axe. Hmm. Maybe, maybe my, I'm better with, eh, yeah, I, okay, that might not be the best move to use this weapon, but oh well. Open the door. You see a perfectly circular st uh, stone room with a moss-covered skull on the eastern uh, edge. 
Uh, I don't like the looks of this. It's the only way through. Uh, I'd like to take a closer look at the skull. Right. See if there's signs of anything that needs to be pressed on it, or maybe something was removed from it. It just seems like an odd decoration to have in a room. Alright, give me a perception. Wow. Um, give me. Yeah, you look up close and uh, the only thing you realize... Um, actually, give me a religion as well. Um, uh, I'm really good at that, so that should be fine. Oh! But... Yeah, so you look up close. You get a good look at this skull here, and you realize this is a symbol of Nimbaloth. God of death. Oh, that's my god. It's your god. Oh, no, I'm you, never mind. Yeah. Sorry. Um, you, you look close to the skull, and, uh, um, but you don't notice anything else about it. It's just mossy green skull. Hung, hung yeah. up on this, the eastern wall. I wonder if this is another sacrifice room. Do you as Keith remember this room? I've never been in this room. Ah. I was in Europe at the time. Probably. Oh. Mm. That's possibly true. I've never been in this room, so... I have not. Vera you definitely have. Vera for sure. Vera has been in this room. Oh. I know oh. for a fact. Oh. I mean, I, I know exactly what to do in this room as a player, but the, the, Charlie has never been in this room and would not know, but Vera should know exactly how this room works. <laughs> Vera, Vera, Vera does not. Vera has amnesia. That's true. Um, Vera slept uh, for a while. I, this long yeah. hallway makes me kind of nervous. I, I think I'm going to close the door behind us. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no story aspects, right? No story aspects? <laughs> Something about the long, long hallway just makes me nervous, you know? Hey, gotta... hallways, hallways, hallways can make people nervous. Okay, so you guys are just going to stand in this circular room? Um, uh, I, and then I, I try and like it's kind of tight in here, so I kind of like trip and fall, and I hit the skull. <laughs> okay, you touch the skull, and the stone starts grinding and grinding, and the floor starts rising up into the to the uh, ceiling above. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, guys, did you guys feel that? What happened? <laughs> you closed the door and we're rising up. Moving, it's an elevator. You keep ascending and ascending. Um, you gotta move your fucking characters. My head's in the door. Um, and you ascend. Two or above. Oh, no good. Oh, goody. Where am I? Oh, here I am. Yeah, I don't think I ever went through this elevator. Wait, wait. I think oh. I've only done stairs. Maybe I went through the elevator, but then I left immediately. On my trip. Where do we go? What is that right there? I don't know. Ethan, what's that's just the... a just a lantern. Oh. Okay, so we got light. In Where here. do we okay. go? Is there any? There's no doors. Can I press along the wall to feel for a door? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you find the door. Okay. Oh. Oh, I'll, just, I'll just tell rat, you the door. <laughs> you rat bastard. Huh. 
More doors. Well, something's gotta be here. Oh, you open this door. Yeah, I don't think I ever went down that elevator. Yeah, Vera opens the door to a large circular room. Uh, with the walls are smooth and gray. There's a, a ribbon of pale blue light coils and slithers through the air. Um, connecting the floor at the center of the room to the ceiling 15 feet above. The points where this light touches the stone above and below seethe and writhe as if the stone itself were suffering from an infection. The desiccated mm. remains of an enormous worm lie slumped around the ribbon, forming a crescent of shriveled and tattered purple flesh. And it grows. Is this going to give us a disease too, Vera? Um, I don't know. I will let me let me let me double check. Let me assess the situation. We're on a time limit, though. Shouldn't we be going down and clearing the library? Uh, this does not seem like a, an active infection, but the, the blue light reminds you of the light from uh, the Gauntlet Tower, the lighthouse. Oh, uh, yes. Oh, so this uh, is where it's all my, coming from. Inform my friend, Z. Uh, I think, uh, wait, we just went up, right? So technically, there's no library. Yeah, this is not library. We need to mm. we, we go back library. Yeah, we can go back. Yeah, we go we go back library. We'll go keep it marked library. though. Important to know. Okay. Could help us solve the mystery of Gauntlet, and we get more allies here. You gonna go back down? Yeah. Yeah. Why can't I? There we go. Alright. You close the door. You touch the mossy skull. And the stone starts grinding. And you descend. Uh, well. We have to at least check through this door, right? Might as well. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> More doors. Another door. If only had someone had gone up the stairs. Where's this one go? <laughs> oh my god, another door. Mm, this connects, potentially. Oh! oh. You god. open the door, and you see two ghouls, two gas, just nom, 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 eating on Good some challenge. flesh. And actually... They are so... Yeah, let me move him to be a little more accurate. They are so preoccupied, they don't even notice you when you guys are talking and opening the door. They seem completely consumed and consuming the flesh. I, uh, I want to aim my guns and give a, a nod to my team. Sure. <laughs> any uh, any response to that or no? Uh, I'm gonna take aim and shoot. Uh, I, I give junk shot more room. Guarded step, or like I don't need to, but move out the way. All right, roll for initiative. I can't shoot first while they're busy. I'll put you first. Nice. Where is... Oh. And Charlie 2. Alright. Junk shot. Uh... Uh... 
I'm going to take my 10 paces to move here out of the way. The other one will have to step through. And I'm going to two actions. My guns aren't loaded? What? Why are my guns loaded? They can be loaded. <laughs> I didn't notice they weren't loaded. Okay, thank you. I'm gonna shoot. Pa! Why is it plus 14? 16. Oh, range penalty. Hold on. Because it's not targeting for some reason. There we go. I damage. And I damage. Ooh. That's uh, nice damage. Oh, uh, you're targeting all Grail. I'm targeting this one. <laughs> Just for some reason, when I roll, it changes targets. Yeah. I can't weird. target him through the tracker, so. Uh, then I'm going to take my last action to reload one of my guns. Okay. Yeah, you fire off two shots at that ghoul, and they look up. Bleh. Oh. Fresh flesh. Uh, the southern one runs up and fights Vera. Six Ooh. damage, and of course, give me some fortitude saves. Oh my god, fortitude! Success! Success! <laughs> All right, then he bites again, dealing sixteen damage. And where's my music? No, 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 no. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. I uh, think 16 damage and give me another fortitude save. Uh... You're completely fine. The other ghoul slips up behind. Takes a leap past what? everyone, what? just somersaults over and uh, he probably wouldn't hit Charlie, he'd probably hit Junk Shot and bites, then misses Junk Shot. I'm too cool for you, Vera. <sighs> Vera's angry that she got slashed and, you know... She got she bit! Got cut up a little bit. She got bit, yeah. She so, bit, bit. So she, she kind of not mad. She has, you know, the silver thing. The silver axe, but she's not super... Super, uh, trained to use this, but she'll give it a go. And attack this. Okay, never mind. <laughs> it says thrown for this as well. Attack. It's because you may also throw it. I don't want... Like Ooh. You didn't throw it, but you can. Uh, uh, what good does it do when my circumstances for this weapon are really bad? <laughs> um, instead, Vera doesn't feel comfortable wielding this un unyieldly um, axe, so instead she'll just go, like you know, she'll give she'll give a doctor slap to the to the doctor slap. Like, give me that fumble slap. roll. Oh, uh, oh you no. fall prone you just you go to slap this thing and you just trip and fall to the ground <laughs> picking up the axe is the wrong move and i believe that is your turn charlie uh... <laughs> you know how to use Trying to figure it out. That's a good one. Is that? I'm trying to figure out if that's a M melee. You snap your fingers and point. You want to do melee because it does more damage. And you're in melee range. That too. 
Oh, I say at the bottom. I was like trading through the text. I'm like, I don't know where it tells me if this is. Oh, here, make a melee or spell. Okay. So I'm going to target the badly injured one and do a melee roll. And then click attack. And you missed. You just swing a flaming hand over the, the ghoul, but it ducks. Huh. Okay, um, what else can he do? He has... One action, not much. Um... Scorching Blast. Sorry, I'm trying to see his... Is Trip Acrobatics or Athletics? Athletics. Is there anything that's acrobatics? Tumble through. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, you can jump. I can blast. Scorching blast is a first level spell, though. Um, I'm going to intimidate the uninjured one. You can do a a jest. You can create a diversion. Oh, he also has intimidating glare. Oh, yeah, well, yeah. you don't scare him. It's, not, it's just never my day, huh? <laughs> uh. Never lie. He junk shot. You're yeah. surrounded. Yeah. Um. Sorry, I was super helpful. <laughs> not ideal right now, I can tell you that. If only the dice weren't rigged. Yeah, for real. No cap. I'm gonna guarded step here and try to kill the one that I've already hit by doing a pistol twirl to faint. Successfully fainting him for my next shot, which I will shoot. Critically hitting. Critical hit. Uh. Honestly, unless that says it damages someone else, it doesn't matter because he is dead. Uh, it is slashing damage, so he's bleeding now as well. That'll, that'll leave a mark, yeah. You, you just burst him open, and he's, uh, that'll leave a mark on the walls where all his blood is. Okay, Oops. good. Um, that is my, all three of my actions. All right, this this guy goes. Ah, that's you. You're the strong one. Um, he's gonna me. Watch you, <laughs> and hit for eight damage. And I would like a fortitude save, please. I'm just throwing cutlery around. Don't mind me. And he's gonna claw you again and critically miss. What idiot? And he becomes yeah, I am strong. Wounded one. That do anything? No. For us. <laughs> okay. It does actually nothing. Uh, and then he's just gonna leap over uh to where his buddy is. Vera. Vera, um and... Vera would like to stand. She doesn't like being on the ground. Um, this is just one action, right? Hands up. Okay. Then she will uh sheath the the axe and then draw a knife. Wow, good turn. And that's the turn. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, impact. <laughs> impact. <laughs> There's no way I miss again. That's true. He's literally cornered. Oh, almost a crit. Not quite. Still a lot of damage. He's badly injured. You just took um, your hand, blasted him in the face with flames. The little tongue goes lashing out. <laughs> little skinny tongue. And then I trip him. You trip him, you you don't. Wreck, uh, man. You go well. to kick your feet out underneath him and he just hops over it like a jump rope. 
Junk shot. Do my thing and I reload. Take aim. Fire! Fire! That will hit. And it will do a lot, of, but not enough of damage. Uh, it will do two damage to Charlie, though. I end my turn. You you blast it, you put a, another hole in its shoulder, and it turns around and starts to eat his buddy. He regains some of his health, then takes a bite out of Charlie. Oh no. Doing, um, really? Doing 12 damage. Don't be upset about it. Only 12 damage. Um, and Charlie drops an item he's holding. I don't think he holds anything. He's, oh, uh, I'm not holding anything. He's wearing stuff. He's not holding anything. Uh, I strip naked. Yeah. And uh, give me a fortitude save. I start doing a little dance. Give me two fortitude saves. I making teeth marks you. on my character. Can they just cancel each other out? No. Are you sure? Yes. Mm. And he steps forwards towards Junk Shot. Sounds yeah. like you're not sure, actually. I, I'm very sure. Vera, what do you do? You fortitude saving throw. For some reason. Yes. Um. <laughs> I thought that'd be kind of cool. Because just to see if the dice were rigged again. You know? I swear it's so rigged, dude. Yeah. Um. Now that she has her knife out, Vera can, you know, get back at this dude. Um. Kind of, you know, like backstab him. A little bit. Backstab. And she does exactly that. She do hit. Poor damage. Oh my gosh, I'm so weak. Big damage. And then target him again. Oh wow. Big damage. Let's see, it's always it's always it's always worth trying to check the you know check the dice before you do anything. Yeah, big damage and you kill him. Ending encounter. I'm a beast. Didn't even uh, use beast on mutagen. Nice. And you're still a beast. I finally did something. <laughs> Thought I was gonna have to do everything in that fight. <laughs> I got you, don't worry. Uh, um, I target... Uh, a junk shot. And... Never mind. I'm sorry. I tried to heal. Didn't even need to be healed. <laughs> Might as well. No, because you can heal more than I'm missing. Don't worry, he's now immune for one hour. Now I'm immune for an hour and I can't be healed when I do need it. No, you're never going to need it. What do you mean? What could possibly happen that you would need it? My team doesn't hit. Hey, I hit. Hey, I I hit as well. I actually. hit more than both of you combined. <laughs> That's kind of true. That is kind of true. All right. A door behind a door. There's no way. <laughs> oh my goodness! Look where we are. Well, we're I'm right not back going in that room again. Yeah, there's no way I'm going around. Around? All the way Charlie around. remembers how his hand got fried. Oh, okay, well. He's just going back up. Hey guys, so we didn't look over here. There's still another door. Yep. That's true. Another path. Whoops, 
I didn't. Well, Oops. what's happening? Oops, it's oh. oh god. What is this? You open this room and you just see this morning. Uh, some makeshift bunks and a table. Um, and you see uh, corpses and corpses of uh, some ghouls, actually. Some dead ghouls. Do I, can What's I... What's fooling on in here? <laughs> Roll medicine. Never mind. I'm yeah, no, I'm not interested in being I around the bodies. Anything. Okay, the other room well, was full of disease. This room yeah. might be full of disease, and there's exactly. nothing for me to kill. And then, as a, a good doctor here. who aseptically, you know, treats all her patients, um, <laughs> Vera doesn't want to be part of that. Yeah. Oh boy. Oh, so many doors. I wonder. If we go Which through wish... this hallway, that one ghoul ran through there. I know for sure there's enemies there. Hmm. Should we clear out the close areas first so we don't get pinched in the hallway? Yeah. Our beer goes open to the it was over to this door. How bunk <laughs> it goes open it to this door. The door. How about I take it that's the light fixture, right? Whoops, sorry. Whoops, sorry. Wait, hey. <laughs> oh my goodness who would have thought more doors this is like the cleanest room yet oh what's you this place here has been perished do i can i look through uh the bookshelf yeah like kind of see what they got here yeah of course Give me a perception check. Perception. Wonderful. Um. <laughs> I believe I already gave you uh, last time I was in this room. Mm -hmm. Um. And I don't think where would it have gone. I, I I'll just give it to you. You didn't. You guys didn't find it last time. Now you found it. Um, Fear does find some books. Um, but she also finds an iron key. Oh. As well as. Uh, uh, a couple of volumes of books containing the formulas for some spells. Oh, oh, very like the Krabby like. Patty formula. The Krabby Patty formula. The formula for this one not sending for create undead and ghostly weapon. Hmm. Ghostly weapon sounds useful. I yeah yeah I, I, I'll I'll take that formula book. I'll, I'll take it. Only we had uh, somebody who can cast spells though. True. <laughs> I don't uh, believe he can cast these spells. <laughs> yeah, I don't think he can. Yeah, he no. can cast fire spells. Uh, but, uh, yeah, Vera finds that, uh... Uh, I'll take some, the key. Wait, why do I, I, I already, I already have a key in my inventory. That's probably the, the key. Same? Oh, okay. Oh, no, that's a different key. Okay, okay, okay. Because I was going to say, I've had this one for a while. <clears throat> Are we ready to go? Okay. Sure, well, let's go. This door? This room uh, door. is completely empty. It might have once been a guard post or something. It's just a broken oh, iron yeah. stool. Oh no. And you open this door. And the stairs lead down. I close the door. 
We're only worried I about this floor. Slide down the stairs. No. I trip and fall. <laughs> uh, Vera then goes to this door after after Junk Shot describes the stairway. And. Uh, I actually, when I walk out this door and close it, I go over here and I move the couch against the door. Against this door? I... Yeah, yeah, try and block it off. Okay. So nothing comes up, you know. Here's Vera, been feeling, you know, very... Very Dirty? stuck up lately. Oh. Yeah, very, a little... She'll, she'll decide to use Man, the bathroom. Uh... If only we knew someone who's been who's been Close looking for a door. good bathtub. <laughs> uh, yeah, when when nature calls. Yeah. Yep, that's just a bathroom, a very yeah. clean bathroom. Compared very. to it's this bathroom is probably cleaner than anything else you've seen in this entire place. Mm-hmm. Oh wait, there's another moss call here. There is. Oh, there is. If I do something with the Moscow, I close the door. Something happened to the room. All the doors are closed. Okay. I tried this last time. Did you? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> you close all the doors and you touch the mossy skull, and water comes pouring out of the skull's mouth onto the rock. It's a fountain. Yeah. Let us continue hey. on. <laughs> the, the great flood of a. Uh... I'm gone. Of the library? On, like, keep. Yeah. All the. Bo oh, sorry. I think we should go through here first. Yes. Let's do it. The bathroom. Do Let's Not out. as clean. Not there. This one, however. Uh, and roll <laughs> for <laughs> initiative. Ah, uh, boy. I remember oh, this room. <laughs> Why did we go this way and not up and down that weird hallway up there? Just curious. What was that? Two Vera. Why did we go to this door instead of this one that was already open? Because I know there's enemies there, so we're going to just see if anything would come up behind us first. Wait, do you? Yeah, I do. Oh. You saw the ghoul go up there? I shot a ghoul and he sprinted through that way. Oh. You open the door to this large collection and you see some ghostly spirits. I'm going to pop these out for you guys so you can see up close. Oh, wow. See some of these guys. And uh, so there's two of those. And there's two of those. Hmm. Oh, it looks so nice like and friendly. Good. Looks so nice and killable. <laughs> yeah. Uh Keaton question. Is that uh icon the um That's ever the torch. torch, yes. Okay, just wondering. You can put it away if you want. Wouldn't <laughs> recommend it. Yeah, because <laughs> there's no light at well Charlie Man has some light, but he probably shouldn't have light. Oh, twenty one hours? Okay. No, I guess he does. It's... Oh yeah, I equipped it. Whoops. Not too bad. All right. You open the door and you see these uh these larger these ghosts. They're just scrambling around, grabbing books, and and like writing in them. And they turn and look at you. Go. And uh, as that happens, one of these little guys goes hiding behind the book shelf. And combat begins with junk shot. Hello. Mm. I'm going to uh, twirl my pistol at this one. Failing. Wow, two fives in a row. It's okay. You never throw three. Uh, roll three fives, you know. It's and never... I shoot with both of my guns. Those are both hits. Sheesh. Not critically hitting though, sadly. But it is a good amount of damage. Um, Not and then shot. I end my turn. Oops. Ah! Ah! Uh, 
didn't uh, backfire, I swear. Uh, oh, it's someone else's turn? Okay. Yes, sorry. No, you're good. I was just double checking. You're up next, though. Yep. Well, you don't know that. Um, can I tell that it, like, didn't get hurt by the cutlery that I shot at it? You fired some cutlery at it, and it, your, what was it, a knife and a fork? And a spoon. A knife and a spoon. Yeah, they, they cut through the, um, the, the ghost. And it just, it just, its grin grows wider. Uh, but you can see where your uh, shots landed. There's little holes uh, in the, the ghost's wispy form that do not reform. Uh, this little guy just flies up. Goes, wah, wah. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot I could take it 10 pace. That's fine. I don't need it. Wah. God, he's so fast. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you are an alchemist. You make potions and elixirs and bombs. I do. Um, where did it go? Do I still have it? Uh, I don't. I was trying to. Never mind. Um, uh, hold on. Hmm, I need to update my... I need to get some more spells, or mutagens. Um... You know what, I'm just gonna beef myself up. I'm going to down my juggernaut mutagen. Oh, he's the juggernaut, baby. The juggernaut. Did my effect go? Yes, it did. I got my 10 extra hit points. Um, Why do I have Juggernaut? You do not. Did I accidentally give it to you? Or were we stacked? Fine. Uh, it's fine. I'll take it. Been removed. Okay. Uh, and then I'll go out here. Target this dude. Oh wow. And you hit. Stab your little dagger in him. For five. It was so big. Damage. And you're, you swing your arm and it just passes straight through. <laughs> and it looks at okay. you and it just grins and goes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that is your turn. And this one flies up to Vera. Takes out its uh, uh, ghostly quill and stabs it straight into your chest. My chest. For 13 damage. Oh boy, God. Uh oh. Charlie. Uh oh. I think this is a good time to use a spell, but. Which one? Uh... Sorry, it's like an awkward character to just pick up and play because you know, it's a big spell book. It, it's pretty much all do damage. Yeah. Um. 
Avoiding heat flight 50 straight into the air. Alright, um, I'm gonna put up an ash cloud. Oh, maybe not actually. I'm seeing V right now. Uh, what else is a good ability? A fireball? Oh, yeah. That's really powerful. Uh, I'm going to. I'm <laughs> going to close the door. Walk up, seeing Vera very injured, and help her by igniting this idiot. All right. You swing your flaming hand through it, and it just passes straight through. Why is it when Matt plays this character, he doesn't miss? It's got good. Game's rigged. You. Actually, player seed. What the? That's not good. The the uh, ghost no. up uh the northern ghost just, just and it takes out a book and a, a quill, writes something down, and then flips the ink off of the page. Ain't no way we TPK again in the same fucking spot, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fortitude. The good thing. Fortitude. Oh. Oh, there you go. Oh. What the heck? <laughs> That's... <laughs> Uh, That's a good roll. Junk shot. You are sickened and slowed. Ugh. And Vera and Charlie. You guys are sickened. No, say it ain't so. Six, 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 sickened. And everything, uh, all creatures in the cloud are concealed. Hmm. Yeah. And then, uh, junk shot. Guess what? It's got to roll to see if it can hit me, though. I'm concealed. Yes, it do. And it fails that. It does not. Me. And you take five damage. Oh my god. I'm going to freaking die. <laughs> Rah! Rah! This little guy is just barely holding on to the book and he swings it at Charlie. Doing 15 damage and then flying away. Junk shot. Chamber. A bullet. And I shoot. Oh? Oh. Of course, it's not a crit. Doing 12 damage with my aberration bullet. Aberration? What damage is that supposed to be? I don't know. It, let me let me read it. I don't know if it does anything different other than just to hit ghosts. Um... Uh, because I don't 
aberrations are not ghosts. The frick? Aberrations are aberrations. God dang it. <laughs> I forgot that they're different. <laughs> Do you still use that? Yeah, it's fine. All right. Uh, you shot the one at the top. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, it takes some damage, and so did well. The splash damage also hits Charlie and Vera. Uh, they both take two damage. Are you doing that? Are you on me? I'm doing it. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna. Wait, how far can I move with slowed? Uh, you get two actions. Oh, that's actions, not movement. All right, well, I end my turn. I'm still slowed. Yes. Should go down by one every turn, right? Maybe it'll go away when I start my next turn. Uh, ordinarily, slowed would already be gone. And this is not a mistake. Okay. I'm in the area still, probably. Thing runs up. Hits Vera in the back. Oh, does not no. hit Vera in the back. Oh, yeah. And then hits Vera in the back. <laughs> Okay, never mind. With 14 damage. Oh, sh Yeah. And then flies away. Oh, not that far. Vera, what are you gonna do? Vera's very, 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 very not good right now. Uh. Mm. First, she'll try something. She'll, uh, uh, in her panic, with the pain, enable her electric arc. Let's go. You can target multiple creatures with that. Yes, I would like to target the two big bad bozos. You can target them both. You yes. Shift T. Shift T. Yep. Yeah. Uh... Do I just roll damage? Oh. Uh, we have to reflex. We yeah, have you to can do that damage. before, but it's fine. I'll, I'll just okay. do it. Uh, they, uh, one succeeds and the other also succeeds. Fuck. You can give me that damage. They both take half of 12. Six for those at six. home. Six. <laughs> for those who can't do six, 12 divided by two. Yeah. Even though they resisted it, it, it appears like they took even less damage than that. Looks like it mm. barely tingled them. Mm. Mm. You have one action left. I believe. I do. Um, can I heal myself? I am technically within melee range, but I am concealed. They probably correct. don't have an attack of opportunity. What are okay. the odds? What is it in battle? It's uh, administer first aid, right? Or is it still the. What are you trying uh, to do? I'm just trying to heal myself. With first aid? Uh, sure. Like, with your medicine? He's it's trying treat to, wounds. He's trying to treat wounds, yeah. Yeah. Oh, so there's treat it's wounds. It's just treat then. wounds. Oh, okay. Um... Oh, shoot. Hold on. Uh, the pop-ups just... Okay. Oh, Naruto's back. Let's go. Naruto. Oh. Hey, oh, <laughs> let's go. Uh, 
Hold on, sorry, Keaton. Um, I think something's lagging out. You tree wounds on yourself. Notice. Oh, okay. There An electric goes. arc yourself for twelve damage. <laughs> Roll. Never mind. Oh, and critically fail and do three damage to yourself. Oh, wonderful. I wonder what that does. And you go to dying. <laughs> oh boy. Well, you that's. Did, you did exactly three damage. Yep. Bro. All right. uh, for all those watching, wondering what's going on, the, the dice are rigged, that's what's happening. This ghost steps away. And then... <laughs> and trips Charlie. Fuck. Okay. Knocking him prone. Uh huh. Anyway, Charlie, it's your turn. <laughs> I stand up. <laughs> I'm feeling uh, myself fall onto something. I reach down and feel something squishy, and I'm like, oh, uh, Vera. <laughs> hey, squishy isn't the right word. Uh, robust. Yeah, robust. That's <laughs> a robust bust. Um, and I will. Oh, this is the wrong character. Okay, here we go. Just... Stabilize her. Yeah, you do. Let's Yay. go. Vera is unconscious. Though we're just dead, dude. Like, I actually don't know how we got out of this. Like, it's actually just over. Even if we had four, if we had four people, do you think this would be doable? Or is this a? It's doable with uh, three. I mean, like, I I don't know how. I yeah, don't think it's I mean, doable with us three. That's like, true. Like it the, is very the difficult. Pieces, the pieces. Is this all our damages? The pieces. Like we I get have. tripped, so I have to use an action to stand up, and then it's two actions to stabilize, and it's like, okay, well, there's just like my entire action economy gone. Yeah. <laughs> all right, better luck next time, and uh, if I'm not tripped, <laughs> or blinded, or dead, <laughs> or sickened, or whatever. So. We'll see. I have spells, I guess. I'm not using them. I should probably read what they do. Yeah. And again, combat... Whoops. Combat does not necessarily end with death. There's ways to get out of combat without killing or being killed. You're a boy. Yeah, but not in the, the current situation makes this very difficult. That's true. Because I, I can't carry her. I was going to do that. I was going to like pick her up and then run out of the room and then stabilize her later. But then you tripped me and then it's like, okay, well now I'm fucked. Well, just... But then I also like this character, he doesn't, he doesn't have strength <laughs> or athletics. Like there's just... Like I couldn't do that if I wanted to. You can try. I guess I start dumping spells, but it's like I don't... And you can... You can use, uh, Flurio's hero points to do some stuff. Flurio's doing fine, dude. <laughs> I don't want you using Matt's hero points. No, Flurio's doing great. I'm not worried about her. Okay. This. She's going to, she's going to bigger and better places right now. Ghost. Looks at junk shot. Fires How long does out. this fucking area last? Does he hit the DC five check to hit me? Let's find out. Yes. Why do they always get it? 
Give me a fortitude save, please. Critical success. Oh. Mm. I mean, you were right about the first word. <laughs> you are in feebled three. Oh, wonderful. I'm just saying, sometimes strategy is a problem, but this is not one of those cases. Uh, hey. Relax. We got this. You got it. Don't worry. You got it. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I'm gonna ash cloud on top I've, of this. I planned this all out. Don't you and worry. Our exit. I, uh, I'm gonna ash cloud on top of us. Chunk shot. You feel this weakness come over you. And then you look up at uh, the the caster of that that enfeeblement, and you look up at it, and it's just it's glowing uh, uh, gold eyes and mouth suddenly turn green, just like the color of your skin. And you hear uh, the, the the mouth doesn't move, but you hear, "Go away, stay out of my library. This is not." For you. <sighs> this little guy is gonna fly up. He gonna. Meh! He's gonna try to hit Charlie. Oh. Critical hit if he passes the concealment check. Oh, that was not a d20. And he does not. God damn it. And he flies away. Junk shot. And take the advice. <laughs> Kinda. I'm gonna go over here. Where they don't see me no more. Okay. You're no longer slowed or sickened. That's good. Uh, but you are still enfeebled. This little guy runs up to Charlie. Meh! And misses, and then flies away. Vera, you're unconscious. Vera is unconscious. Um, you don't get a turn. Yep. Charlie, you look up at this thing and you get the same message. This is our library. This knowledge is not for your kind. Um,. And then... You get shoved 10 feet out of the room. You know, like, Vera has, um, had a second chance already. Maybe it's time for her to make a new character as well, you know? <laughs> I close the door and I leave. Okay, buddy. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I step in and I grab her by the collar and I drag her out of the room, closing the door behind me. Okay. Beer goes, right? Yeah. Okay. Stop going. Sure, you can close the door. And combat is over for now. Does a junk shot come out of hiding? Junk shot's content where he is. I try and wake up Vera. After a moment, uh, Charlie is no longer Charlie and Vera are no longer sickened. Uh, how do you try to wake her up? Slap her around. What do you, what do you slap? 
um her knockers oh, yeah, i'm just kidding uh, <laughs> uh <laughs> she wakes up <laughs> nice uh her face yeah, yeah she wakes up yeah. she slaps him back oh i'm glad you're alive thank you for pulling me out of there I am immune to my own. Yeah, you know, I mean, I've had a lot of experience getting people out of places. I mean, the, the, the circus ring is a, is a wild place. Accidents happen all the time during rehearsal. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm gonna drink it. Oh, man, that, that swordsmith oh, guy really, uh, really should have warned you guys about that. No Swords wonder they couldn't clear the library. Oh, yeah. No kidding. Look at us. This was Are a you trap. Okay, junk shot. <laughs> Barely I'm, injured. I'm alright. Near death. Badly injured. Ah. Uh, okay, well, oh. we have eight hours. We can. I'd say we could rest for the night, possible. but we can't really rest for the night if we're trying to make it by the deadline. And there's no way we go back into that room, so I think we just give up. Get some rest. <laughs> Is that what Charlie would say? Um. <laughs> well, you're near death. Uh, Junction. <laughs> so somehow always near full HP, uh, and I'm <laughs> badly injured. Junkshot doesn't run into melee range, so pretty beneficial strategy. Uh, to use my ranged and without a flurry range. here there's there's no way for us to really recover very quickly we can try and find her that might help us uh <laughs> help us have an extra body to throw at those uh those ghosts there i don't know uh, i actually don't even know where do these stairs go keaton take them find would, that out. would that have taken me all the way over here What stairs? These ones. They probably These go ones, down or they, something. They go up here like this, right? Like there's probably like a big hallway and some rooms, and then it all goes all the way to the backside. I thought it. I thought it reconnected over here, but it doesn't. Uh oh, the stairs from the pool. Yeah. I don't know. You gotta find out. It would have taken me all the way to the back of the library. What the fuck? There's no way I live. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to go down either. But hey, I. Man. My two options were both fucking garbage. <laughs> I, there's... Uh, there's rooms in between the stairs and the library. I, I know, that's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> that's, not, that's not a good thing. <laughs> the library is dangerous enough, who knows what the fuck's in the other rooms that are past the library. Yeah, that's probably fine, dude, don't worry. Yeah, 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 That's where yeah. all the treasure is from the dangerous yeah, yeah, yeah. library. Yeah, I would have gone straight into the vault for sure. Yeah, that's where the power ups are, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Instant 10,000 experience. I mean, kind of too late now, but like, yeah. I guess I could swim back up as soon as I notice that I'm down at the bottom, but. I don't know. We're, we can deal with that when we play my character. So, what is your decision? It's clear you're not going to be able to clear that room now with being so unhealthy, uh, at least not in the next eight hours. And mm -hmm. not to mention, it's not just that room. You have these rooms up to the north that y you haven't even seen yet. And yep. Vera knows there's at least one other room past this uh, collection. You guys did see doors to the south as well. Most of the doors you open, there's nothing behind them. True. Let's go. Open more doors. Yeah, oh yeah. Always a solution. Are you gonna Are you gonna stand up at least? Like <laughs> she says while like laying down. <laughs> Let's oh, go open. I, yeah, she's... yeah. Stand up. Let's go open doors while they crawl on the ground. Um. Hold on. Should we go try and get our fourth member so that? We have a fighting chance in that library. Uh, yeah, maybe there's a way we can find that fish. 
getting a little attention to the uh the injured would be really helpful right now yes Having someone that can do a little bit of damage too. <laughs> hey, possibly in a, a wide area. You know? Need a little variety of our damage. Apparently, we don't do any anything hey, good. I already, I'm a doctor. I don't do damage. I heal. That's not true. <laughs> you can <laughs> make Clarion bombs. Also heals and does damage. Yeah, you got bombs. You're an alchemist. You're not a doctor. You're an alchemist. She's Get a that doctor straight. alchemist. Doctor alchemist. Your class does not say doctor. <laughs> not yet. Class very clearly says bomb maker and thrower. Well, and, uh, also potions. Mostly potions. Potion, mostly very potions. Potion. I don't... But I she don't, can wait. make bombs. I can make bombs, but I don't think that's my... That's my... It's not my specialty. Rick, man. <laughs> um, do we want to go to Afluria and do some stuff really quick so that I can, we, it's possible for them to reunite? Yeah, sure. I'd be fine with that. I would, I'd be good with that. Too bad Afluria's going to die if we go to th them, but, you know, that's fine. I, I'm trying to figure out how to get to you guys. I'll, I'll see. I'm... <laughs> like... Even metagaming, I don't know how you'd get to us. <laughs> I, I have no idea. I, I mean, I, I, I can kind of figure out what the map kind of looks like right now, and I, I don't know how I get to you either. Oh, I do know how I get to you. Wait, hold up. I got this. You gotta go down, then up. Yeah, yeah. I gotta go to the staircase in the in the library room. Like, over here. I have to somehow get to the staircase. Yeah, too bad. You but... just blocked it off with the other character you're playing. <laughs> 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 you guys hear some knocking down the hallway? <laughs> you hear someone knocking on the door? <laughs> yeah. Alright, I'm gonna be honest. If Flurry is not getting to that stairway. I'm just gonna tell you right now. Don't try to do that. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> this sounds like I can do it. <laughs> Sounds like what you're telling me is this is possible. It's uh, possible. here's what we can do. We can go back to to the the group of people. I told them to take you prisoner because you're helpful at healing. Just ask them to allow us to see you to get us healed. Yeah, but the problem we can is back up. <laughs> I'm not where they left me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, that's, that's not my problem at the moment, because my character doesn't know that. Yeah, the issue is, I'm not there. Um, that's probably the play, though, is going back to the, the swordsmith guy being like, hey, we're gonna, we can make your eight-hour deadline, but we need our fourth person. And then try and use your social skills to negotiate my freedom, and then if you don't find me, uh, maybe go looking a little bit. Yeah, I don't, I'm gonna be honest, we're not looking for you where you are right now. <laughs> oh no, but if you go, rock. if you go to where I was, I can probably swim back. Because <laughs> I'm probably gonna swim back because when I realize that I'm down a floor and things look dangerous, I'll probably swim back up and take my chances with the crocodile. Can you swim back up? Um, I don't know. Can I? <laughs> it's yeah, a one-way trip. You can. Yeah, I was gonna. I, was gonna once I, I didn't realize that it was going down. I thought it was gonna go over here, and then it went down a floor. And then I'm like, wait a minute. I probably should go back up and take my chances with the staircase. Where's the water coming from in there? It's a good question. Uh, from the well. Well, of what? Because <laughs> because that goes down. It was yeah. five feet deep. There's Is no other like... entrance ways of the water. Yep. <laughs> it could be. <laughs> Where is it coming this from? This is a magical place. But yeah. also, it could be just coming from the ground, right? It's coming from the gro groundwater, like the ceiling. He said the ceiling was dripping. Yeah. Uh, it's got drip kind of fast. <laughs> it's got drip water. There's there's a waterfall like over here in the wall actually. Like right here there's just like a waterfall. 
It's National Apple Day, boys, just so you know. You can celebrate with a uh, cinnamon apple pie, warm crispy crust on the outside, and hot cinnamon apple goodness on the inside. Is that your talk about that? Add one or two to your order today. No, that's Popeyes. <laughs> Unironically, those are pretty good. They, they're they like the um, old McDonald fried pies. That guy has a farm. Yeah, old McDonald. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hold on, let me get my phone. I gotta see. You can't chuck your Popeyes. <laughs> if I got any Popeyes deals. I don't even think it was a deal. It's literally just please come buy stuff from us. <laughs> Didn't even say you get a free one or anything. Just all right. Let, let's do that. Let's go back and then. Good vibes. We'll, we'll try and reconnect, and then if we reconnect, I can heal us all, like over an hour, and then everyone will be back to full health, and then we can go back to the library, or we can yeah. go up here first. I think. I think. And it's then best we'll go that from we there. Try to loop back. Our characters actually have motivation to do that at this point. So yeah, yeah. Reasonable to do it. All right. Let's try it. I'm so zoomed out, I can't see my character. Oh god. Or Matt's character. Oh god. Then I close that. That's scary sounding in there. I don't like it. Alright. You you enter back to the um the outpost here. And uh Carmen looks up at you guys. Oh uh hey, you you guys finished already? That was fast. No. Well, we're not quite done. Oh. The library is not full of ghouls. Ghouls we can handle. Oh, well, what's in there then? Ghosts. 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 Oh, oh. Can't that's... shoot a ghost. Yeah, that's that's quite scary. Our fourth member was specialized in defeating those kinds of enemies, though, and keeping us healed. Sure. I'm not lying like that. <laughs> <laughs> Rule of deception. <laughs> Jeez, uh, um, we got kind of banged up when we were hoping we could visit the fish dock. Ah. Uh, um. Are you sure about that? Well, that's why we've been keeping them around. They splash some water. We feel better. That's helped us get this far. And you could tell him like, oh, we'll we'll make sure that they don't act up again or something. We'll talk to them about their behavior. You got a sewing kit? If so only they didn't want to help you guys. A sewing kit? <laughs> Make sure that mouth doesn't open again. <laughs> uh, well, he looks around and he's shifting his eyes and he's looking over at some of his guys he's like, uh, you, you can go see her, but, um, I'm gonna be honest, I don't, I don't know where she is anymore. You lost her. What kind of prison do you have here? Uh, well, you see, and he he motions for his guys. They pull this couch away, and you can see this uh, this little hole in the ground here, uh, or in the wall. He says, "Uh, uh, we didn't, we don't really have a prison. The prison's up north. Uh, we weren't really planning on a prison there. We just let her let her go." Uh, have my guys go check on her, and, uh, she's gone. Gone? Ugh. Yeah, we left her right there. Slippery fish people, I... Well... She's probably down the hallway. We need her now. Uh, she might be the best suited to kill a ghost compared to the rest of us. Junkshot and Charlie, as you step into the scaven, you hear the splashing of water to the east. Um, you know, uh, with all this stuff going on, how long was I on the lower floor, by the way? Three hours. I'm gonna say that that, like, the most what, of it happened. While it wasn't was chronological. On. Yeah, but like, okay, so I swam down to the next floor, and then I just swam back up, and then they kind of just run into me while that's all happening. Or was there like a 10 minute gap where I dodged the crocodile and went down and then came back up? 
Um, Very important to me to know how much time has passed between when I went down the floor and when I'm coming back up to meet them. Well, when do you swim back up? Because I can show you the next floor. Um, yeah, I guess kind of depends on what I saw, but probably fairly quickly once I realized that I went down. But if it was kind of safe where I was, I might have waited it out a little while. And then um, probably would have swam back up once I heard some voices up there. Like, I don't know how close... I, I mean, I don't know where I ended up, so it's hard for me to say. Like, I don't know how far yep. down I went. Yeah, I got you. Um, yeah, yeah, you would swim down and... You, th you see the water, it just keeps going and going down and going down. Uh, and it t it's you start to turn a corner. Um, you realize you've gone uh, pretty far down at this point. And you don't, you're you not sure that there's going to be another way up, or at least not an easy way back up. Mm. And um, does it feel like the water, er the area I'm in is dangerous, like the crocodile's after me, like, can I sense anything in the water? Like, I have a pretty big, um, range of control over water, like, where, in my area. So, like, do I sense any changes in the flow of the water going down or anything? Yep. Like, does the croc- okay. Um, then, uh, would I be able to take a little bit of time just swimming in the water and recovering a little bit before sure. coming back up? Yeah. Um, how much time do you think would have passed before I swam back up? Because, like, I, I basically I realized that no. I don't want to go down. I need to take my chances with the crocodile. I need to be healthy to fight the crocodile. So I basically recovered a full before I go back up, is what would be my logic for re before I return to go fight the crocodile. Oh, uh, not so long. Probably, like, 20 minutes. 20 minutes, okay. Uh, so I get to, I don't have myself targeted, I don't know where I am, but, um, I heal for that, I, uh, so 22, um, and that's enough, so I, I just, I took 10 minutes to recover, and then I kind of start swimming back in that direction, and it might take me a little while. And hopefully I arrive around the same time they do. You're no longer wounded. All right. Yes, you, uh, you three hear the splashing of water to the east. Hmm? Ish? Something's over here. Oh, I can see what's splashing to the east. I think our fish is a goner. Yeah. Might as well Maybe. give up. And... Floria. You got close enough. The ghoul turns to you Maybe. and snarls. Yeah. Ghoul. Yeah, better me to have aggro than them oh, right not, now. Not the ghoul, sorry, the crocodile. Okay, I was gonna say, there's a ghoul in here too. Yeah, I figured. Um, I heard people up the hallway, and it's probably better for me to have aggro. Roll or initiative, everyone. Uh, is Charlie in this combat? Ah, oh, yes. You're gonna control too. Um, do you want to control him? I do not. Do you want me to control him? I... <laughs> I'm not going to control him. Okay, I will keep, I will keep doing it. And Veer? Yeah, I'm sorry, the tab is, uh, come on. There we go. All right. Junk shot. Hmm. You saw a large crocodile. Take my ten paces. I see the fish. And you also see that. Yeah. That's what he looked like. He's a cute. I can target it. Can I actually shoot it from here? No. You can't okay. see it from there. Um... 
I'm just gonna ready an action. Can I shoot? I forget if you can attack. You can delay an attack, right? That's the rule. Uh, yeah. Okay, like... I want to delay my turn until after a Fluria then. Are you, are you ready in action or are you delaying? I want to delay. Okay. Is that fine? Yeah. So I you took just... a free action. I don't know if I'm allowed to do any more delays or anything. So delaying will just move your initiative lower. Okay. Ready in action will, when the trigger happens, you do that. Yeah, I'm just gonna delay. Okay. Cool. The crocodile sh 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 swims up to a flurria. Clamps down with its jaws. Doing 13 damage. What kind of damage? That would be piercing. Motherfucker. It's everything piercing. It's everything bites. <laughs> it's one that's biting you. Owie. Um Could have been an earth bender, not a water bender. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing For real. A rock. Oh and it and um It should have been a metal bender. Yeah. Oh, that was cool. And it grabs you. It's got you clamped in its jaws. Uh, where is it oh grab? Oh god. We got here just in time to watch you get eaten. Oh my god, dude. And you clamped in its jaws. Um, and it's gonna do... It's gonna do a death roll. Have you ever seen a crocodile death roll? I have. Yeah. It's gonna spin you around trying to knock you out um yeah you're like a piece of meat spinning uh I'll like if you go to meatspin.com that should help you get a visual <laughs> you too <laughs> uh, plus two oh it already has that deal plus two um oh man and the death roll misses unfortunately but you are grabbed I don't know how it misses a death roll. Charlie. Malik. Oh. <laughs> I forgot I'm Charlie. <laughs> Wait, no. It would be here. No way, dude. Does that hit me if I'm grabbed? Yeah. It's Wait, does it? A 20 foot burst that hits everything within 20 feet. Oh, I was trying to read the skill. Um, there he is, 20 foot burst. Okay. Sorry, <laughs> I'm just clicking them to read them. Um, What about this one? 10 foot burst. Uh, but that's a placeable. I'm just gonna ignite. <clears throat> Ranged ignite? Yeah. Doesn't do as much damage, but that's a hit. For 10 damage to Vera. Just kidding. Why is it targeting Vera? I clicked T on the truck now. I know, just kidding. Uh, the targeting is the weird stuff. I don't know. Uh, that's your turn, but it is now a Flurious turn. He's grabbed. Um. She activates. The trap card. Winter Sleet. Oh. And then, um. So the whole water in my aura, like this whole water that he's swimming in, yeah, is now frozen. Okay. I don't know if that does anything if he's inside of it, but 
he's gonna slip. He's probably like I don't know. Would that be considered like they're strained as well? It it just does exactly what the spell says. Okay. Um. And then I think there's some way for me to move him if he's in my water. Well, you're grabbed. I know. I was That's thinking I can move thing. him off of myself, and then it gives me like a bonus. Uh, you can hit him, and you have the water shove, right? Yeah. And then I can get the roll to break free with that, right? Yes. That's how we. Okay. So, um, I'm gonna take a two action bludgeoning melee strike at him. <laughs> All right, I guess that's my turn. <laughs> Junk shot. It is your turn. Dude, why can I not roll <laughs> higher than fucking two or three this whole fucking day? I wonder how your healing is going to be now. <laughs> the healing has been fine because it's not a roll. Like, I don't have to roll to heal. I just have to roll to heal. Barely injured. Perfect. I'm shooting it. That's a critical hit and a miss. Oh my god. No, it's it's 20, not 18. Let's keep that in mind. I That's don't know if that helps. 20? Yeah, because it's got a minus two range penalty because it targeted a flurry for some reason. Yeah, it's targeting me. Uh, 20 will hit. Okay. Critical damage is 24, and it has to do a DC 21 fortitude save. And a flurry that takes two damage. I did a it. Flurry does take two damage, and it's a slashing damage. So it's going to make an additional attack against a foe adjacent to the original using the same attack modifier. So it does nothing. Um, and then damage. 12 on top of that. And if it takes another two damage, and I'll do it. Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'll you... Try and stun him. You hit it a bunch, and it does not get stunned, Vera. Vera's still a very hurt. Uh, she, she don't like. She don't like it, but she she's she not into that. Aid. If only she could throw something at it. I know, right? <laughs> that would be sick. Come forward, like two moves. Um, this is a very far distance. Like, it should be actually twenty range. feet. Not that bad. I think her is only ten feet, but uh. So when I was when I was conscious, I would say I already had these picked up because that would have been my action anyway. So um, a lot. Thank you. <laughs> uh, target big dragon daddy, or crocodile, bro. Never mind. Because the range penalty you miss. And that should be three moves because of the two movements. Yes. The crocodile still has a flurry of grabbed. I'm gonna try to do that death roll again. <laughs> it spins and it critically hits a flurry after 38 Probably damage. Probably bludgeoning, right? It is still piercing. What? She's like, he's slamming me into a wall. Ah, uh, well, he's doing the death roll. Uh, it's piercing. It's a jaw attack still. He just gets a bonus to it. And if uh, he hits... <laughs> it knocks you prone. Oh! I made a mistake. You get all that health back. You weren't Whoa. grabbed. Because he failed his death roll last time. Oh my god. Didn't read that last line. And I will go back and make you not grabbed. Um, see, would you still get crit by this, though? You would. You would still get crit by this. So I'm still going to do that, that damage, actually. Would you have moved? Or would I have 50 moved feet away? From here. Would you move I more? would not. I could not move more than 50 feet away now. All right. I lied. You still think that? Can he death roll if he doesn't have me grabbed? Uh, no, he can still bite you though. Oh. And he was gonna and crit regardless. These do the same damage. 
Yeah, so, uh, yeah, you take that 38 damage. Okay. Uh, but because he didn't have you grabbed, that is his entire turn. What a roller coaster. <laughs> I'm sorry. And he's gonna walk up and do a melee ignition attack. Melee ignition, this never misses. <laughs> Dude, literally every single roll I've done on attack today, <laughs> except for like two, has been below five. Okay, good. Like what the fuck, man? Like, I'm I'm twenty five percent chance I'm hitting it every single fucking fucking roll. I guess that's just my fucking turn again. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. You never miss this one. Uh, yeah, for sure. Like, this boss would have been dead like 15 times over if any of the fucking attacks had landed. Okay, I target the boss and I. Who says it's a boss? I, yeah, I target the normal fucking enemy that's impossible to hit with any fucking ability. And I it's almost kill dead. him. It's, it only has 20 AC. Uh, that probably kills it though. It That does kill it. And I create a giant sword from all the water around me. I start drawing it in above me and making a bigger and bigger sword. And then I slice it in half. No, actually, you smack it with the broad side of your sword because you're doing bludgeoning damage. Regret to inform you. Uh, I crush it. You all crush its bones. it with a sword. Yeah. <laughs> I make a giant hammer and just bash its skull in. Crocodile, down. And everyone is reunited. Combat is over. Man, none of us are looking too good. What happened to you guys? Doing okay. You guys look like you saw a ghost or something. What do you mean? A couple. Ghost? <laughs> nice crocodile, huh? Looks like uh, we could all use a round of healing, huh? Yeah, I, I think I think you should heal me. Is he immune to treat wounds? I might be actually. Here is not. But has it been an hour? Okay. Here I mean, the other two are. I treat my wounds first. Well, glad I got and I fail, <laughs> obviously, <laughs> and then I I treat Vera's <laughs> wounds. Oh, that one succeeds. That's nice. 24. Uh, I will do that. Heal. Wait, um, keep... and then the other two are immune to treat wounds, you said? Correct. Uh, wait, okay, can... right. um, because I, my heal on myself failed, I can technically roll again, right? Or no? No. You're immune to oh, treat wait, wounds, well. not... Your treat wounds, you mean to all treat wounds. Um, okay. Um, and then I go ahead and I oceans bomb everyone. Whoa. Um, and so I'll start at myself and I'll just go down in order of the way we're standing. So, so this is for me, this is for Vera, this is for Junk Shot. <laughs> of course, he, he always gets the big one. And this is for Charlie. <laughs> this is fucked. All of them would fully heal him. <laughs> uh, is a flurry, is a flurry uh, immune right now? Because she healed herself. Yep, I'm immune. Yeah. Uh, shit. So I heal for 12, I guess. Nice. <laughs> Um. Uh, if we if we sit here and catch our breath for a little while, I can probably heal us up a bit more. How long will it take? Maybe we could take like thirty minutes. Thirty minutes? Okay, we can we can afford thirty minutes. Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna minutes. sit in the water and hydrate. Well, we take. Um, probably 30 minutes, I guess. Okay, you guys... Uh... 
Yeah, you can do do your ocean spawn three times. Okay. Um junk shots full HP, right? So I'm yeah. I'm I'm also hydrating while we're doing this. Uh, and then I go ahead and I Ocean's Bomb in the same order again. So, me, okay, obviously. <laughs> uh, Vera, and Charlie. Are you doing the healing for Charlie or did I have to do it? I didn't do it. Okay, so 14 plus 11, is that 25? Uh, and then another round. Me, Vera, Charlie. Oh wait, even more? Yeah, we're waiting 30 minutes. He can do it every time. Charlie's unharmed now. He says I'm good to go and then he heads Mine's off. This. Mine's the second one, so the 17, correct? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Wow. Wonderful. Thank you, fish lady. Wait one second, guys. So I healed for... Did I heal for the 7? Oh, are you unharmed now too? Yep. And I heal for the seven. I didn't add that. And then I take, uh, I swim over and take ten more minutes to rest, and do one last heal on myself, which is not enough. But you know what? It is what it is. I'm just never fucking lucky, I guess. I don't know what to say. Why don't you just roll twenty-two? Yeah, I know. You rolled pretty well, actually. I know, but the seven fucked me. The seven was like way below average. Kind of just completely bricked my all my healing. I would have been full health if it wasn't for it. What do you do? I guess we go up these stairs. Now that it's been 30 minutes. Um, we're on the timer, so I don't want to take any more than 30 minutes. Well, I don't know this, actually. Do they tell me? Well, we, we tell you. Yeah. And then we tell you to behave. Don't mention Lord. I mean, uh, I was Lord. just trying to help her. She was so rude. Okay, okay. You know how women are. We are as women. <laughs> open the door. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, Me and you, the two female characters talking about misogyny, being misogynistic. <laughs> Let's go. Classic women being misogynistic, actually. A classic. Uh, you enter this room and uh, you we see hate women. Sorry, Madeline just woke up. I was trying to inform her of what was happening. Uh -huh. Uh, you see a small okay. alcove to the east. It's a floor decorated with a silvery circle of inlaid runes uh, sitting in the eastern wall of this empty room. Mm. And there's a door to the north. I step onto the runes. Where am I teleported to? Nowhere. I look away for one second and I come back and Junkshot is standing in some like demonic ritual circle. Uh, oh, and he's we... gone. Ah, oh, not again! <laughs> <laughs> he's in the wall. You casually seeing Keaton's cursor just go. How does he keep doing this? <laughs> okay, Vera's not wasting any time. Let me open the door. A dead Are end. Are you staying behind? Dead end? Uh, I search the walls for anything that would trigger a door opening or something. Nah, I see right? find one. Rapid. Vera finds one. Oh yeah. <laughs> Vera's got good hands as a, as a doctor, as an alchemist. She's got mm. good steady hands. She finds the mm. grooves and she finds the stones she can press in. Do you press, press it in? in. Press. <laughs> Oh, I, don't know, I don't want to be in there. Close that. Close that. Initiative. Can't. Close the wall. Do you close the door? Close the wall. Yeah, you can't. I mean, we could. You we actually cannot. Oh. Oh. Okay. You guys see. Let me, let me open this up for y'all. It's a bunch of cleaning supplies come to life. No. No! <laughs> Malik, like worst nightmare! Uh, yeah, it actually it looks at you angrily, uh, but it just keeps cleaning up, mopping up the room. Oh. 
Maybe it'll let us pass. Okay, now we'll finish this. <laughs> okay, never mind. <laughs> There's no encounter. Yeah. Yeah, there is no encounter. Now there is. Yeah, there's oh. no encounter. Did you know that there's no encounter? Oh, oh yeah, shoot. Yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah, you step forward onto onto this blood here, and you just hear, Oh, who can you move Charlie? Dirt. Can you, can you put Charlie over here? Just... Who tracks dirt <laughs> in my oh, I, I'm so... dining room? I'm sorry. I, oh, I, I, I mean, I don't know if you looked around, buddy. There's blood all over the fucking place. <laughs> what are you worrying about dirt for? I was cleaning that. Well, clearly you're not very good at your job. I, I was I was brushing it to the side. I was gonna mop it up until you. Well, how long have you been in. working on it? Until you stepped in. Uh, Vera gets splashed with some ectoplasmic dishwater. Huh? She takes. Five damage. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. And I need you to make a saving throw. Fortitude. No, no, you, no, you don't. You're fine though. You're fine. I just got suds on my uh, on my clothes now. <laughs> and then, uh, oh, the the rags swarming, spinning around the buckets, fly by and slap you in the face. <laughs> Uh, give me a reflex save. I control the water in the rags and make them dry. <laughs> Wait, me? It's, yeah. Right? Yes. Okay, just double checking. I okay. take all the moisture out of them. Uh, <laughs> I if rolled. only it were actually water. And you take uh. two damage from the rags flying around the room. Charlie. What does Charlie do? Uh... He ignites the end. Uh, attack. That will be a hit for some solid 12 damage. You ignite the, uh, the dish rags, uh, but it doesn't seem like it takes all of that fire damage for some reason. Oh god. Another being that we can't harm. If only we had a character that specialized in weaknesses. <laughs> That's a shame. I'm making a thaumaturge. Junk shot. I walk up and I say, Wow! That's a mess. Looks like you could use some help. I diplomatically offer. Okay. Give me diplomacy. I didn't do a blind. I'm sorry. I forgot. Reroll it. Only got better, I'm sure. Yeah, it always gets better. Uh, it goes, no, no, you just... Your blood is gonna spill everywhere. Blood doesn't spill unless spilt. No. <laughs> it's gonna spill. Uh, but the rags start to calm down for a moment. Uh, I oh. end my turn. <laughs> Bruh. I'll give you one junk shot. I'll give you one thing. Be, being a junker, being a junkie guy. Uh, a junkie. You, you're a junkie. You fought a, a lot junker. of. Uh, being a junker, you fought a lot of probably swarms of rats and spiders and things, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just like. That's where I collect the feet. In the yeah, uh, and you know, just swarms of things. Take extra damage from splash damage. Oh, 
Do I know that? Wow. <laughs> but he's so not hostile anymore. <laughs> well. Well. It's Vera's turn. <laughs> True. Uh... It's a shame every one of my team decides to run melee and take splash damage too. <laughs> mm. Mm hmm. Uh, Only there was a spell casting sorcerer who had ranged spells and an alchemist who could throw bombs. <laughs> um, or maybe somebody who could keep pushing the enemy away so that we have distance. I haven't taken a turn. <laughs> Just throwing ideas out there, it's all. I will use Electric Guard because I. My initiative is garbage. What do you want? Just knowing that it's like not gonna like my knife, man. I'm just gonna. Uh. uh... What knife? Ooh, the knife in my hand. Oh my goodness. And it takes no damage. Oh my god. Ah. Uh, okay. Um. What do I have? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's weakness is definitely water, guys. I'm just saying. <laughs> There's no way this mop bucket is not weak to water. Right. Okay. Weakness is yeah. messes, so it's a spoon scattering everywhere will be its weakness. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna take a it's dump on the floor. Mess. I'm just yeah. gonna take a shit epic. right on the floor right here. I'm gonna yeah. take a step back. It's gonna lose its freaking mind, man. Yeah, I took a half step back because uh, I, uh, Vera's like a little, you know, shocked. The enemy isn't though. The enemy is definitely not. Is your turnover? Yeah, because the cantrip is two. Okay. Afloria. What do you do? I use cold damage and um I make a giant net to catch all of it and just push it with water. Oh, that will be a critical hit. 28 damages. And, and after I push it, oh, darn. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to get to use this. Oh. Oh. <laughs> As you Good job. splash it with that, dam that uh, cold damage, he goes, Roll. It must be cleaned. Too much. How do I get the critical blast thing applied? It doesn't show it in the game. It might not exist yet. Oh, okay. I have to go to Path Builder to remember what it does. It's like... Oh, man. I think it gives you one splash damage on a crit. Or two splash damage. I would have done see. bonus damage against the swarm with enemies. I know, that's what I was excited about. <laughs> <laughs> and it died. <laughs> critical blast. Uh, a critical blast junction happens when you get a critical success with an elemental blast of kinetic element. Critical effect blast deals two splash damage per damage die of the blast. Wow, that would have been four splash damage. But, yeah. Or more, since it's a swarm. Uh, but yeah, you guys enter this room, and you just see long shelves with several chairs drawn up to them, ringing this room along all sides, save for the north. There's rancid stains of old blood and decay caking the shelves and the floor.
Mm, this seems like it would connect to that room where we really got messed up. <laughs> but now you have me and you're all healthy. What could possibly go wrong? Look, look at how we just destroyed this ghost. The other ghosts won't be a problem, I'm sure. Definitely not. Why were my guns not reloaded? I didn't shoot. Can I forget? I must not have reloaded after the gator fight. Standing at the front, I asked my team, and am I ready? Are we ready? Window. Uh, I think Junkshot is reloading. Junkshot is reloaded. Uh, junk All right, reloaded. I'm opening the door and jumping in. I open the door and in the same action, I jump forth to be at the front. You jump forward. And the, the ghost looks at you and says, No, leave, leave. And uh, we will find out what happens next week. No. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? What do you mean? A I lot. just shot all of them. I That's can't wait for you guys to get past this room. For Yo, you're going to have to wait a while. <laughs> this is like my trauma. It's, it's gonna be longer than eight hours for sure. You guys Here's just... what we're gonna do. Here's the strategy. We're gonna open the door. We're gonna shoot them. They're gonna nearly kill us. We're gonna close the door. We're gonna sit, heal up. Then we're gonna open the door and try and kill them since they're not healing, but we are. Well, we're... you don't know that. Well, <laughs> they don't have a fish person. They don't have a fish person. You still have yet to go. Also, the, why is the there only three of them? Too. What happened to the fourth one? Good question. Uh, huh. They are ghosts. Why are ghosts reading books? They like reading. They're, they're smart ghosts. Maybe that's why they died. Yeah, they died reading books, and now but they never finished. Yeah, I actually heard that if you read, you die. Yeah. Uh, I'm right. illiterate, so it like, couldn't be me. <laughs> so is the party. Everyone except for Vera can't read. Yeah. yeah. What? I can read. <laughs> Unless the books have smart. like pictures or something. like. Junkshard's pretty smart. I don't know what you're trying to give crap about. <laughs> Junkshard speaks multiple languages. Like, I don't. Just because he can speak the them, only... don't mean he can read them. <laughs> the only literate goblin. Alrighty. I need food. Oh, you too? Go get, food. Food. Go get some tacos or something. I don't like how I always have to eat, man. It's kind of messed up. I know, kind of cringe. Super cringe. I'm waiting for the day that gets updated. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, can, I keep can't requesting wait for, uh, this feature, but... I can't wait for the devs to roll out that, uh, that hotfix. Like it doesn't make it's like literally a pointless grind. Like it's cool for enjoyment it's just purposes, a money like sink. RP. But yeah, like it's literally just a money sink. But you know what? Like I really like the the, the like the debuff it gives you though, like the pooping debuff. Like I, <laughs> it just you goes like really the well. Debuff? I'm sure you do. Yeah, it goes really well for me. Like I you know I, I don't know. Like my, my my debuff, like also like I don't know, I, I think I have like a bug or something, but like it also inflicts bleeding. <laughs> Kind of weird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I wonder when they're gonna fix that. That's weird. I've never, I've never experienced that. Uh, yeah, it's just a bug. I'm kind of unlucky. <laughs> the only time I've had that is when like the toilet paper was just too thin, you know. I should try restarting and uh, yeah, restarting. Uh, reboot, reboot. Yeah, just that was reboot. Great toilet over. paper, huh? Go yeah, next. it's right here. Yeah, you need to, you need to pay for the common toilet paper and not the trash toilet paper. Well, I personally prefer like green or, or like the the uncommon and above quality. Uncommon? You, you like rare toilet paper? Like rare would be awesome, but like it's kind of unnecessary. But uncommon I think is a, a fairly like reasonable accommodation point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you he, don't really get debuffs ever with that. You guys ever seen legendary toilet paper? <laughs> <laughs> no. That's the <laughs> nether weave <laughs> toilet paper, dude. You... I, yeah. I, can, I can only afford silk toilet paper myself. Oh, nice. I'm treating your, your, uh, 
<laughs> your body to that nice soft silky yeah. experience exactly exactly yeah well anyway i can't i can't wait for the the i think they said i heard a rumor that that's gonna be in dlc actually we're gonna have to pay to get rid of the the uh eating money sink like how much it's probably worth it uh i, th I think it's like 60 dollars that's oh, it really? Dude, you, you have to probably spend so much more than that VR. just for the, the de like to get the debuff like every week. I'm... Yeah, I don't know what they're thinking. They're probably monetizing it in some other way. Probably gonna come with a new feature that just is worse. Yeah. You have to drink water more often. That's a yeah. good feature. I love water. It's actually a. <laughs> it's actually gonna be a vampire update. You no longer have to eat food, but you have to eat blood. <laughs> Oh, I'm so excited for that patch. <laughs> then we get to survive them. You gotta survive the vampires, dude. Alright. Oh, that'd be sick. Good, man. I'm gonna go uh, do my money sink real quick. Alright, GG's. GG's. Boy. Have fun. Bye. See you.